The problem with ghetto blacks. Insane title, but let's see. I'm gonna be the one to say it. Black people are known for violence, crashing out, shaking butt, and downright degenerate behavior. We are the only ones with our negative qualities to be at the forefront and representation it's of our true. community. Asian yeah, people have true. all it's types true. of issues, but they're known for being smart. Meanwhile, we got Megan Thee Stallion twerking at presidential rallies before GTA 6. Clearly, Whoa. that really was insane. That happened? Yeah, that was, that's a real event. That was a Kamala uh, yep. rally. With wow. Like, wow. like, that's how you get the black vote twin? Wow. He's stallion twerking at... In a suit is Bro, crazy. Look, and then look look at the old black people. Look, look they, at that they, white man. <laughs> they're like, what is happening? This is not the, the demographic for this. I mean, they was trying to pull in the demographic, but damn. Please, before GTA 6. Clearly, we are in the end of times in America based on these two presidential candidates. But besides that, look at the representatives they choose as the spokespersons of black people. Trump 2020, 2024. I mean, just the other day, presidential candidate Kamala Harris genuinely had Megan Thee Stallion performing. Quavo hitting a speech. One thing what? I learned about working with Vice President Harris is she always stand on business. Bro, you been talking to the camp for what? Two days before you went on stage? Stop lying. We know what celebrity endorsements are. Stop the camp. Y'all got paid to show up. No, nah, thanks. She stand on business. <laughs> Quavo was like out here advocating against gun violence. Meanwhile, he'd be <coughs> rapping about getting people sticked up left and right. Possession of a firearm in a school safety zone. And on the other side, we have Sir Donald Trump, who's backed by the rapper OT7 Quani and Sexy Red. We have affiliate rappers going places. I got fees lined up outside. We cannot win either way. But all jokes aside, I'm cooked. sure there's we plenty of activists that could have replaced these people. This is straight out of an episode of the Why Mayock. you put The glaze is insane. The glaze is <laughs> He basically said he'd rather have Duke up there. <laughs> the average black person can look at this, question it, and wonder what the hell is going on right now. Yep, and don't facts. be quick to call me Rocket Raccoon, Uncle Tom, Uncle Ruckus. I have legitimate points that need to be addressed. You so right, today, we're right, going to be talking please. about the problem with ghetto black people. Brief intermission, oh. make sure you subscribe to the- Bro, what you do Duke like that, bro? I mean, he glazed them and then he, you know what I'm saying? Like the video. If you've seen my videos before and you enjoyed this it's video- It's just the extreme, bro. People the love the extreme, Let me introduce bro. you to the YN you know trend. Saying? The term YN stands for young niggas. Basically, niggas, it represents yep, yep. a group of people who are young, black, and ready to crash out over anything, anything. at a young age. <laughs> Got all types of artillery and zero future. Because their brains are simply underdeveloped, bro. These dudes be having infamous Instagram usernames like Walk Em Down, Trey, and they have no regard for human life. Now, the issue arises in our, I think our black quote unquote ghetto pop culture being at the forefront is similar <coughs> to white frat boy culture being at the forefront. It's the extreme. Or, or white like, racist culture. Maybe, yeah. Yeah. Uh, it's, it's the extremes of it. It's like they think that's cool. So they see that as what people think is cool. So they yeah. want to try to be cool. Yeah. Either, on both sides. Yeah. Young impressionable minds might see this behavior and might want to be a part of the young group. But for some reason, the frat culture don't get as bad of a rap as when they just as bad. They be doing some crazy stuff, man. Trend where young impressionable minds might see this behavior and might want to be a part of the younger group. You know why? Because invoking mm. AI, bro. Hey, make sure uh, when you go to upload this, there's a new section that says AI. Make sure you check like AI is in here. I don't think you have to if the whole video is not made with AI. Uh, it's saying like if people are doing stuff that they they don't do. Yeah, because that that's for sure. Uh, Fearing people going viral is something that every child low key wants to do at some point. Like look at these jits, man. Going anywhere with them YNs. <laughs> Future inmates crazy. with no real life goals. Yeah. You make Damn. black people look bad. My pleasure Damn. and thanks for Damn. getting me in the algorithm. They don't care, bro. We already see really Prime don't. Boom Gang pretty much crash out daily yep. for content. We don't need yep. more of those, bro. With more and more videos about these young N words, they the just want to be one. We see people actually want to do it and participate in the trend. Yes. Mag yeah. Dumper Vante, they with them crazies. Walk them down to hell. And I understand that this is funny, you know. I'm not hating on the creator at all. This video 
got 200,000 likes, a cool 1.8 million views, which equates to about, hmm, his RPM might be about uh, 15 cents per thousand views, which calculates to about $272 off this video alone. My bad for the pocket watch. But laughing about this, a person like me starts to see deeper, you know, starts to uh, think a little yeah, deeper than the average individual, you know, because I'm a little bit more wise and well beyond my ears. Mr. Hawk, I'm down. I'm immediately waving the white flag. I surrender, gang. I ain't trying to get in no altercation. Let's really, really think about this for a second. We as grown folks are afraid yeah. of our own youth because yeah. they might destroy us and obliterate. Yeah. I mean, they're gonna lie. That's the parents' fault, for real. Yeah. Very much so. Not, they ain't raising them kids, bro. They're not raising them kids. That's the, uh, which generation is that's that? The two, that's the 2000s. The 2000s uh, kids. Yeah, that's yep. the 2000 kids, bro. Yeah. Literate us with Gen 5s. Which is, <laughs> which is, that would be, which generation of parents is that? That's, uh, would that be Gen X? Gen Y? That's the ones before us? Yeah. Uh, that's the ones before, yeah, yeah. yeah that's so that's the '90s parents. Yeah, that's the '90s parents. Yeah. Not born in the '90s, but was yeah, they graduated active in the '90s. Yeah, yeah. 2005, anywhere from 2000, 2005 up to yeah, five, that's the that's the that's the motherfuckers that was at Freak Nick yeah. in the mid '90s. <laughs> yeah. These are kids, minors. No other group of people has to worry about that, bro. Ain't no walk them down, Timmy. Ain't no walk them down, Kevin Nguyen. No, it's just a, just a black people issue, bro. And we need to fix it, bro. Come on. And it does not start with the glorification of a serious issue like our black youth literally destroying each other in the streets, bro. This is not war zone. This is not a game. You don't but, really but the issue is, bro, the issue the issue then becomes like people don't see another way to make it. They don't. Yeah. Because if we, truth be told, whether it be streaming, streaming isn't as glorified and it seems a lot harder to make it in streaming than opposed to being a rapper. Because rapper, the rapper cheat code, you gun somebody down, you make a song. I ain't gonna lie. It's more so right now, it's more so the shorter it's, content. Yeah. It's it's easier to go viral on the shorter content yeah. by doing the very stupid shit. Yeah. Even as a rapper, it was still hard to make. You still gotta have a good song. Yeah. You still, like, Tay-K, he could have did all he did. If the song was ass, the song would have just been ass. I mean, it's very rare that it'd be, like, an ass song. It just so happened to be catchy. But, like, as a rapper, YouTuber, streamer, all of that shit is still hard. Yeah. to get on even if you're doing the stupid shit yeah. but with like tiktok is just the biggest shorts app yeah with like tiktok it's uh, easy to make it it's easy to fucking get the eyes to see you doing some stupid shit because it's gonna go viral live up polls on people and respawn like it's rebirth and every life is important which some of these young niggas don't understand and they just That's incentivize them to record right it. it's pretty sad let's be real and we can even go into the fact that some of the people who are finding it's funny and really blowing it up don't even be black for real there be mad white people true as black people in comment sections true. i'm just saying so watching this stuff go down is just like one big large circus act that is insane. That was insane. Syrup stripping on syrup. That was insane. I really cannot go with this whole video without destroying people like Sexy Red and Ice Spice for plaguing the youth with their humiliation ritual ass antics. I mean, Ice Spice literally has bars about defecation in multiple, multiple songs. I'm the shit, I'm that bitch, I'm as poopy. I'm as poopy like I need a diaper. You're not even the fuck. What the sig? What the sigma? Yo, I got a question. <laughs> Why do we talk about shit so much? Like, because I be saying, you just have to fight, okay. And it does okay. seem like Ice Spice is on the downward side of her career, bro. She is getting tired of the. They said she had a scat fetish. Why she look so in uninterested, twerking right? Bro, because like that's all. That's all I'm, she, you I'm, know. Damn. All she really be doing. Damn. She getting tired of it, bro. She, the act, she's getting tired of spamming that one emote she always does. Put the fries in the bag. Put the munch in the oh. bag. God damn. She got the expression of Eeyore off Winnie the Pooh right now. And I'd be tired of doing this too. This gimmick can only go on so long. And of course, it's not just Ice Spice. You know, all the masculine male rappers be rapping about degeneracy too. I mean, at the end of the day, it is just music. And it would be hypocritical of me to come at Jeez. rappers when rock stars sing about worse or pop stars sing about horrible things too. Now, in my opinion, we can have some of these It's like when they used to grow up all we heard is y'all music this y'all music that and then when you realize what some of that old r&b was actually talking about like that one song is just about the nigga being bricked the whole time too close crazy work yeah crazy work too close y'all yeah. shit was just as bad brother yeah so is rock so is sometimes country yeah, and pop and all that other stuff nigga it, nick bro it's the it's the generacy everywhere everywhere in all races it just all, looks worse yeah. for, from us for whatever reason exactly of the hood without being incredibly anti-black some of the best people in the world came from the hood i would feel more safe around certain people from the hood than an average person on the street if a woman is being mugged in the street by a dude who do you think is gonna step up timmy here or duke Dennis, if I was a woman, I'd put my trust and life in the oh. hands of the glorious savior and one and only Trying to see if she got It was a trend online. And it was a <laughs> Why are you doing her like that? 
trying to see if she got ten toes. Tell her that's the that's the woman. Hands chat. up, the glorious savior and one and only Duke Dennis. That's just me though. There was a trend online, and it was oh. essentially people saying that they were afraid of everybody from the hood. Whenever people from the hood are nearby, there was no reason for him to put that meme in there. <laughs> there was no reason for him to do Kennedy Carter like that. Why are you going back? Don't that's go back. I just I'm just double checking. There was no there, reason. There, you know what it was. There's no reason to double check. Step up, Timmy here or Duke Dennis. If I was a woman, I'd put really my trust and life in the hands of the glorious savior and one and only Duke Dennis. That's just me, though. There was a trend online, and it was essentially people saying that they were afraid of everybody from the hood. Whenever people from the hood are nearby, they lock their car doors, start clutching their purses. We all stop pretending like hood people don't scare us. <laughs> that is the same mentality that racist white folks be having, bro. Just because you're from the hood does not mean you're on menace timing all the time. And to me, I would say that is some stop! pretty crazy anti-black rhetoric. Stop! People from the hood were getting kind of upset and had valid arguments against that. The fact that y'all is out here talking like black people from the hood is like a subspecies of black people just because they was born or live in a certain part of the city is crazy. <laughs> FYI, nobody from the hood is thinking about y'all scary bitch ass. I feel like if you genuinely despise people oh, who came from the hood, you're really not that much better than a discriminatory white dude. At some that's, point, whether you want to admit it or true. not, all black people pretty much came from the hood at a time in one of their generations. But after slavery, it was not just move in next to John Smith and now you're friends with Massa and everybody's cool and everybody's yeah, living together yeah, in a yeah. nice suburban community. There was red... I ain't gonna lie, you say Massa, very interesting. Now you're friends with Massa and everybody's cool and everybody's living. You hear, he say it like from, he from his generation. Shit. He say it like a YN. Shit. Bro, you know what I'm saying? Been together in a nice suburban community. There was redlining, ghettos were created, crack was distributed, and damn near every black person had to make it out of the struggle at some point. So if you're gonna make it out and then damn near look down on the people who you basically abandoned in a sense, that's pretty insane. I won't say abandoned, niggas gotta get it out. It's not about, it's let's not, be honest. It's not about being scared. Now, we not scared of people from the hood. We scared of the hooligans. No facts. Who do the most from yeah. you know what I'm saying? And a couple of the crackheads. Yeah. But not all the crackheads. Niggas be cool. Hood yeah, they be cool. And not the not the we scared of the crash outs. That's the ones we scared of. Yeah, hood niggas be cool, bro. Yeah. And also to give credit to people from the hood, I would say people from the hood create like 90% of pop culture, bro. All the slang comes from the hood. It's not coming from suburban black people. The true. chains, grills, fashion Very sense. True. That stuff not coming from dudes in the suburbs, all right? It's not coming from people who look like they know how to play Smash Bros with a mini afro. It's coming from dudes in do-rags and women in bonnets, bantu knots, etc. Half the terms like unk, rius, gyat came from the black community in the hood. I'm telling you right very, now, no suburban true. black people came up with those terms. And famous artists like Basquiat were probably from the hood. I hope he's from the hood and I didn't accidentally just throw him in the oh, hood. Uh, is it because he's locked? Even check. Am I stereotypical? Even now, check. with that said, I think it is fair to have criticism of people from the hood without being an Uncle Ruckus, Raccoon, Uncle Tom, whatever you want to call it. One thing I genuinely despise is when people try to act like debatable topics are completely objective. Like, no, people are allowed to have different opinions, bro. We are not Skibbity. all the same. Dear niggas from the hood, bro. And really, dear people in general. We gotta help these people in the hood, bro. Because I understand that not all of y'all are crash outs. Not all of y'all have this mentality. Being from the hood does not group you in with those people who have that crash out mentality. I understand that some of the you best people crazy? come from the hood, bro. A lot of the crash outs have a look. Yeah, you can see it's it. It's like you see them you and you see like, it, bro. You can see it. Whoa. You can see how they, nigga, you can see how they talk. You can see it. A group of crash outs. Nigga, All right, gonna we lie met a nigga. We met a nigga, and I was talking to him. <laughs> I was like, oh, you one of them. You one of them. That's literally what goes through you. You like, oh, you, you one of them. Because at first they be cool. You're like, all right, cool, whatever. And then you listen. Then they get to talking about their ex, what they done did in the past couple of weeks. And you like, oh, 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 oh I'm 30, bro. I don't, <laughs> I don't know I'm what this is. I'm chilling. I'm good. I'm all right. Since I went to school in the hood, there's plenty of people that I know that came from terrible areas. Very successful, you know, average, regular, good people. And it absolutely sucks to get grouped in with those crash outs. To me, it's more of the mentality. It's not about coming from the ghetto, but you can have a ghetto mentality where it's like, all right, bro. Enough is enough. In conclusion, ghetto black people or people from Ooh. the hood have Ooh. some issues that really need to be worked on. And I think the average black person Max. is kind of upset and kind of annoyed with the way our image is. We need to have more positive trends, all right? We need to have more positive representation. And I think that's legit criticism and legit concerns that I can raise without being anti-black. Let me know what you think down below in the comments. Um, Do you think it's that it's deep? Do you take, think trends like the YN it's gonna, trend is- It's going to take a lot of creativity from a lot of different and it's gonna, people it's gonna, for that to change because the extremes gonna, are going to win. Yeah, it's Gonna have, and they're also gonna have to take people letting shit go. Yeah, that too. It, it's literally gonna have to take niggas like letting shit go, bro. What, 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 like what? what like, for example, the like, like the whole thing with Hellcats, right? Uh -huh. Niggas will steal a Hellcat before going work 
to make the money to get it. Nigga, like, oh, let the life go? Yeah, you gotta oh, let yeah. that life go, let yeah, that yeah, mindset, yeah, yeah. all of that. And you can't be a victim of your circumstance. You got to make your circumstance your victim. Like, as long as your mindset is, oh, this is what I am, and you use it as an excuse, bro, you stuck in that forever. Hey, W video, bro. 